So what is going on everyone, Fernando Silva here with another video and before we get started, a little round of applause to everybody watching these videos because we've been pushing out these update videos. You guys seem to really like them so big thank you to everybody that's been kind of staying tuned and watching these update videos on both the iPad side and Microsoft side because those seem to be doing extremely well too. But today Apple released iPadOS 14.5 Beta 2 to developers to test out and we actually got some new features that were a little bit unexpected. So without further ado, let's check them out. So the first thing that we do have to touch on, and if you guys follow me on Twitter, that you will have noticed that the size of this update was 658.9 megabytes. So give yourself at least 1.2 to 1.3 gigabytes if you're gonna install this, just to make sure that you install it at the most optimal amount of space, just to make sure that there's enough space to get that update installed. And then what I do wanna show you after that is the actual build number. So if we go over here, go to about, hit on the 14.5, if I bring this up, now you can see that we're on 18E5154F. So that F means that we're getting, again, closer and closer to the public release of this software, which again, I don't think is gonna come out for at least two to four weeks, because if we're on F, we still gotta go down all the way past A to get that RC and GM edition. But again, that's just me speculating. I'm assuming in the next two to four weeks, we'll have the public version of 14.5. So the first thing and the most visual difference has to be that we added 217 new emojis according to Emojipedia, I believe it is. So if we go in here, try to change it up, you'll see that there's 217 new emojis. Now, they're not 217 different ones, there's just a bunch of different ones and then each one has their own like six, seven or eight iterations, you know, in different colors and things like that. So some of the ones I'm just gonna put on the screen right now, those are some of the new ones that popped up which are really nice and people seem to really like their emojis. And we also got, like I showed you guys in the beta one release, we are now able to search for our emojis on the iPad Pro, which before we were not able to do that. Another cool feature, which honestly, I didn't even know that this was an issue at all, but apparently before, if you had your microphone on, whether it was through a phone call or a FaceTime, or if you're screen recording with the microphone on, things like that, you usually get that little dot, right? So if, let's say, so if I go here, press on the sound on, start recording, it'll show me that once it does start recording, that that little dot shows up, that little orange dot shows up saying that the microphone is on, right? So just to let people know that, hey, your microphone is on, just in case you didn't know. But apparently it's still recorded even when it was in a smart folio case like the Magic Keyboard or like the OG keyboard case that Apple made or even just the smart $40 smart folio cases. Apparently even when you close that, the microphone stayed on. But now, no matter what happens, if your microphone is on and you close the iPad inside of the Magic Keyboard or inside of any other smart folio case, the microphone will shut off no matter what. So I love that feature. I'm kind of surprised that that was even an issue to begin with because people, I guess, just trust Apple. Like myself, I'm one of those people and then just assume like, hey, Apple's not listening to my stuff. Maybe they're not actively listening, but having the microphone turned on, even while a folio case is closed down, I think that's just bad practice. So I'm really glad that they stepped it up and changed it up for us. And then a few other things that I did want to touch on. So CarPlay was an issue and now it no longer is. So if you do use your iPad, with CarPlay, which it is possible, it is possible to use your iPad with CarPlay, you now will have no issues. And kind of to stay in the same category, you are now able to share your location to the Notes app and to your Reminders app as usual. So before with Beta 1, 14.5 Beta 1 brought that glitch that it wouldn't even allow you to do it, but now you're good to go. You can put your location via Maps into your Notes and into your Reminders application. And then if I wanna show the rest of the release notes, so if we go into Safari, get out of here. These are the release notes that I get. So you have the emojis, CarPlay. Again, this is the new privacy feature that I was talking about with that microphone situation. So SwiftUI added a title and icon label style, which I believe has to do with the new air tags that are coming out and the new tile integration into the Find My. So those are all things that I think Apple is working on on the back end. And again, I do think Apple is really trying to solidify 14.5 for everybody. So when it does release to everybody, it'll be one of the more stable operating systems that Apple's ever released. And then in terms of battery life, if we wanna go back into the settings, hit up battery. I'll give you an idea of how it's been with 14.5 beta one. As you can see, when I unplug it, it drains pretty quickly. But again, I'm doing very intense tasks like editing 4K footage from here on LumaFusion, so it does die quickly. But even in the last 24 hours, six hours and 19 minutes of screen on time, last 10 days, we're about 521. So those are all things that I've been using and I'm gonna keep testing the battery out to make sure that we get improvements with 14.5. But that's pretty much gonna do it for this view. Let's go back to the normal view. But that's pretty much gonna do it for this video. Like you guys saw, there was a decent amount of updates. We got all those new emojis, new privacy features, 
And I think 14.5 is actually shaping up to be one of the most stable operating systems that Apple's released in a really long time. As long as they fix those screen issues that people have been having with that tint of green, which I haven't seen on a personal basis quite yet, as long as we get those fixed, 14.5 should be a very, very stable update. So if you guys have access to beta 2, I believe the public version or the public developer version will release in the next 24 hours and then it'll release to the public in a little while. So we're still probably two to four weeks away before Apple releases 14.5 to the entire public. And like I said, it's gonna be very welcome privacy features, very welcome you know, productivity features just to, just to make your life a little bit easier. But, but that's gonna do it for this video. Don't forget to check out channel sponsor Paperlike. It's the first link in the description below. Always keep that screen protected because it is the most valuable asset of your iPad Pro or any iPad therefore. But that's gonna do it for this video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. And until next time, stay subscribed for more of these updates. Thank you.